It's tax time, and we better have our financial house in order. How would you like to do your own taxes? You can do it and save money. We'll show you how. Today, we're debunking the myths and misconceptions about securing a mortgage. Maybe that dream home could become a reality. It's a DIY window treatment makeover that can transform the appeal of any room. The results will amaze. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Designing Spaces, we talk a lot about DIY projects for your home. Well, today it's time to get our financial houses in order with DIY tax solutions from the pros. Let's face it, nobody really loves taxes, but they're an important part of our society. Well, this year, we're going to inspire you to tackle doing them yourselves. Joining me now is Lisa Green Lewis, a certified public accountant and blog editor at TurboTax. Lisa, thank you so much for stopping by Designing Spaces today. Thank you for having me. So I have to ask you, why do you think people are so hesitant about doing their own taxes? People do think taxes are daunting, especially when they have life changes. But TurboTax makes it easy by asking simple questions about your life. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to have any tax knowledge to use TurboTax. TurboTax right. guides you with simple questions and it also ensures accuracy. And you know, with 75% of taxpayers receiving a tax refund last tax season and the average refund being about $2,700 wow. last year, there's no reason that people cannot be empowered mm -hmm. to do their own taxes and use TurboTax. Right. And, you know, people waste a lot of time. Absolutely. And they take their taxes to a tax store. They may be standing in line, but you can do your taxes in the convenience of your own home and save money. And I like the fact that you said you don't have to know anything about taxes. And I think that's a fear that a lot of us have. Well, I don't really know all these different forms, but you don't need to know those. No, words. not at all. Okay, so say I'm going to do my own taxes this year. I'm inspired. What do I need to have in order? What do I need to like, have with me to start? Yeah, you should have your W-2 forms okay. or 1099s if you're a homeowner, your home mortgage interest and property taxes. Okay. Um, and actually TurboTax can import your W-2s and they do all the calculations for you. Really? It imports your information so you don't have to okay. key in that information. Well, that's just easier that way too. Yeah. Okay, it, so it sounds like TurboTax really is kind of like your, your friend, your guide right, right there to make everything easy. It's a web-based program, right? Right, it's web-based. You can start on your phone, your tablet, your computer, and finish on any device. You can do your taxes on your phone. You yes. can be sitting by the pool doing your taxes. <laughs> yes, you can do your taxes on the go. That is incredible. And in the convenience of your own home. Okay, now what about, you know how you have line deductions or things like that? How hard does that get with TurboTax? It's not hard at all. Um, you're not required to know the tax laws. Um, we just ask you questions about your year, actually. Okay. that That's all taxes are. Is, it's about your life and your year. Okay. So it guides you through those questions and you just input answers and we do the calculations on the back end. Okay, you know? so in other words, your questions that they're asking, it's, it's so they have that knowledge and they know what form to use. Right. Is that kind of right. the right way to say that? Yes, okay. they'll ask simple questions like, did you have a baby last year? Okay. Did you get married? And Got then it. based on your answers, it will make the correct calculations for you. It will also check for over 350 tax deductions that you may be eligible for. Wow, that we probably wouldn't have thought of. Yes. I love that. Okay, so here's a, a fear of mine. I'm online, I'm doing my taxes, and then right in the middle, I have a question, and I really don't know the answer to it. Do I have to stop the whole program, or what do I do at that point? Oh, there's no problem with TurboTax. Um, you can actually speak to tax experts who are CPAs, or enrolled agents, as well as our customer care agents, mm -hmm. and get your questions answered either by phone or by chat. So you're never left alone. You know, you're empowered to do your taxes right. yourself and kind of learn about your finances, but you can also have the assurance that you can talk to an expert. Right, and I like the idea that it's right then and there. So if you're online and you're doing your taxes, you can open up that web chat and do it at that same moment. You don't have to leave and 
and yes. go back later. Yes. That's perfect. Yeah, so they do guide you really every step of the way. Right, and then even after with TurboTax, um, even after you file, you know, we have tools that help you find out when you'll receive your tax refund. Okay. Um, we have great tools where you can see what your tax situation is going to be ahead of time. You can use those tools even after you're finished filing your taxes. And then when we get our refund, now we have money to do our home yes. improvements yes. by all That's of our great suggestions thing. from Designing Spaces. <laughs> I, would, I would suggest that. Like I said, the average refund last year was close to $2,700, that will be a great refund check to Absolutely. do some home improvement. DIY Tax Hub, great info. Lisa, thank you so much for the tips on getting our financial houses in top shape. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Well, to see this portion of Designing Spaces again, just visit our website at designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us today. There are many people who would love to take on home ownership, but believe it would be impossible for them, or they will be saving money up for another decade just to come up with a down payment. Everyone's financial situation is different, and there's a lot of misconceptions out there about loans today. So to get to skinny, let's talk to an expert. I met Susie Reed, Senior Loan Officer for Supreme Lending at their corporate offices in Dallas, Texas, to debunk mortgage myths and to clear up a few misconceptions about securing a mortgage for the first time. So there's a misconception out there about home loans. I mean, it seems like they're really difficult to get these days. You know, I think after 2008, a lot of people were really concerned they'd never be able to get a home loan. Um, but things have really loosened up and people without huge down payments and sometimes even have had credit problems in the past are still able to get a home loan. Really? Yes. So things are easier to actually have home ownership these days. Absolutely. Meet Bobby and Michelle. I love the home. Uh, it's more space than I have ever had. They are now in their first home, and before they obtained their mortgage, they had concerns about the process and questions about qualifying. Uh, we looked at 25, 26 houses. Um, we saw houses with pools. We saw houses with big backyards, small house, small backyard, no backyards. And um, the thing about this house is we kept on coming back to it because it just has that homey feeling and it has the vibe to it. Because they have been through the process of obtaining that first mortgage, we'll get some interesting commentary about their personal experience of buying their first home. What prompted us to buy our first home, uh, we wanted our own privacy, be able to have our own space, be able to decorate the way we wanted to. I was tired of paying somebody else's mortgage. Um, I wanted something that was mine, um, that I could call home. When we started a process of buying the home, uh, we knew we had to find a lender first, um, so we called Supreme Lending. Uh, knew that they you know, asked questions and then they gave, kind of gave us a layout of what we needed to do, which turned out wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Tell me a little bit about the process of what a typical couple may have to go through to get that home loan. Well, I think the first thing people need to know is where they stand credit-wise. That is still the most important piece. Um, talking to a licensed loan officer that can get that credit profile pulled, see what they need to do to prepare. Uh, and then after that, it's just a matter of gathering paperwork, um, pay stubs and bank statements and tax returns, and sometimes it feels like blood samples, but uh, we do have a lot of documentation to gather up. So communicating with your loan officer and getting all the documents to them timely is the key. There are many misconceptions involving getting a loan. But where do they originate? I think more than anything else, people believe either A, they have to have a 20% down payment, yeah. um, B, that they have to have perfect credit, can never have had any issues in the past, or that it's always a really painful, long, painstaking process. Um, those are the three that I think we need to debunk first. So now that we have crossed the hurdle and know it's possible to get a loan and some questions have been answered, it's time to get the ball rolling. So should I go out and find my dream house first or should I look at getting the loan first? Always loan application first. Uh, knowing what you qualify for, what you can afford, which sometimes are two different things. Pre-qualification means we've looked at your credit report and taken information verbally and then given you the pre-qualification letter. 
pre-approval means you've actually provided all of your income documentation, all of your bank statements, and we've reviewed your credit so that you know that your approval is nice and solid. And of course, when you're looking for that dream home, a lot of real estate agents will want to have that to know that you are qualified to purchase that house. They're going to require it. Most real estate agents will not put you in the car to take you to look at homes until you have a pre-approval letter from a reputable lender like Supreme Lending. Bobby and Michelle also had to start the process somewhere. Questions will come up, some of which will be specific to the buyer's finances. I mean, uh, buying a home, this was definitely the biggest purchase we're ever gonna make. And uh, you wanna make sure you're on the right track and ask many questions. I asked many, many questions, and a lot of big questions were, you know, are we qualified with our income? Is our credit score okay? Do we have enough to put down? You know, how long is it gonna take to pay off the house? Anytime we had questions, Supreme Lending answered all those. I mean, they gave us detailed sheets on everything we needed to know before we got started. So that, that helped ease our mind. And, you know, then we realized we can do it. We can get a house. So it sounds like if I come to you needing a home loan, you guys have several plans to take care of me no matter what kind of shape I'm in. That's exactly right. I have clients come in all the time that have uh, major credit problems that we, we may be looking at six months or even a year out, um, but putting them on the right track and making sure that they're prepared for home ownership is a big part of my job. Some misconceptions that we did have was the down payment, how much we're gonna need for it, will we have enough, do we have enough income, to buy the house and uh, many other quite factors, but we faced them all and uh, here we are in our house today. Must be a pretty cool job to be able to take families and put them in the homes of their dreams. Yes, it is. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the Supreme Lending video. You will also find a link to their website. project that's fun and rewarding? DIY is always rewarding and can save you some cash as well. How about a window treatment makeover? The results are amazing and we'll show you how easy it really can be. Take a look at this. Part of the reality of owning a home is the desire to make occasional changes. When considering even the most subtle changes, style is an important factor and so is energy efficiency. Today, Designing Spaces takes you to a home where the residents are looking for both of these as the homeowners give their office a window treatment makeover as a DIY project. Well, we've been living here for about five years, but quite frankly, I'm getting a little bored with the way this house looks now. Well, we agreed we needed a change, and starting with the window treatment seemed like a great and easy place to start. The window treatments are white now, but I think a little bit of color would add some style. I'm thinking of going with a soft green. Well, I'm a little nervous about the color, but I know it's something she really wants. <laughs> well, he's never been the best at DIY projects, but I'm ready to help him. I mean, at this point, I will do anything to liven up this room. Well, she'll probably tell you that I'm not the best handyman, but I know I can do this, and above all, it'll make her happy. Designing Spaces is here to help. First, we guided the Cardillos on how to get the right measurements of the windows to start the process. Next, we contacted Level or Custom Blinds and Shades and arranged for Larry and Stacy to go to their local Home Depot to meet product expert Victoria Henderson, who will help guide them through the selection process. So, Stacy and Larry, tell me why you're looking to change your window treatments. Honey? Well, I think to change the look, you know, being stylish is so important, mm -hmm. and the white we have now is so plain, and especially after a couple of years, it's just dull. Mm -hmm. And we need some energy efficiency, too. They just don't hold the cold air in, mm. and our electric bill's going out of sight. Sure, now this is for your office. Are you looking to have light filter in through your shades, or are you looking to completely block out the light? I'm a big fan of natural light. Yeah. I'd like as much light as possible. Okay, great. Well, based on our needs today, so we need fashion, and we need energy efficiency, and we're also looking to have light filter in, I would recommend our Levelor Accordia Cellular Shades. And the reason why is they're a perfect blend of fashion and function. So from a color standpoint, we have over 200 fabrics that are designed to coordinate with your current home decor. So we should be able to find something that will add a pop of color to your window that I think you'll absolutely love. Great. And there then, Larry, for you, energy efficiency. 
That is top of mind for our customers. It's important to them to save money on their heating and cooling costs. So because of the way our cellular shades are manufactured or created, it, it, it actually makes the cell or a honeycomb huh. that blocks air. It's a pocket and it traps the air as it comes through and it keeps it from going into the home. So you will be able to save that money and it will keep your home cooler in the summertime because you're not going to have that hot air that's going to come in through the window. So we should be able to set you guys up with that and uh, let's head over to the book and pick out a color that uh, that will be perfect for your home decor. Now, do you have your measurements? I do. Wonderful. Thank you. And we'll get you started. I've introduced Stacy and Larry to the Home Depot associate. We know they want light filtering and she recommends designer textures because of the variety of colors and options available. She shows them energy shield and Stacy loves sage, one of Levelor's most popular colors. After a few minutes, the Cardillas have made their decision. The Home Depot associate inputs the custom order and Victoria lets them know about what's next in the process. Guys, I'm very excited about your purchase today. And it's gonna arrive to your home in the next two weeks, mm -hmm. custom made to fit your window. Great. Great. Got one big question. What tools am I gonna need? Sure, you need four tools. Mm -hmm. You'll need a drill, mm -hmm. Phillips head screwdriver, mm -hmm. a tape measure, and a pencil. And the installation instructions will be in the package with your shade, so you should find it there. However, if you happen to misplace it, you can always go to levelor.com and they're always available to you online. Oh, great. Perfect, yeah. Now, I have an important question for us. Sure. How long will it take us to complete this project? Because this is a DIY project, it should take you less than an hour. Wow, that's quicker than we thought. Okay, I think we can do this. Yes, we can. Two weeks later, the custom blinds arrive and the Cordillas are ready to get started. First thing to be done is take down the old blinds before installing the new blinds. Well, honey, we did it. Good job. I'm so proud of you. I love our new Accordia Cellular Shades. They look great, and with their design, they keep the room cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Victoria's right. It wasn't hard at all, and it makes a huge difference in the room. I think our work's done here. <laughs> no, not quite yet. I think it's time to start the window makeover in the other room. Let's get started. To find out more on how to do your own DIY blinds makeover, go to levelor.com where they have the full selection of Levelor Accordia Cellular Shades. We'll also have a link to their site and our website, designingspaces.tv, where this portion of the show can be viewed again by clicking on the video. You can also join in the conversation on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash dspacestv. getting those troublesome taxes done without the trouble while saving money to an effective interior design DIY project or even making the big move to buy your first home. We always want you to have the information you need to make the right decisions for creating a better home and lifestyle. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacestv. Or friend us on Facebook. Type in the word Designing Spaces. Connect with us on Pinterest to follow all of our design ideas and share yours with us. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.